Hello and assalamu alaikum guys, my name is Muhammad Ali and welcome to C Sharp Tutorials for Absolute Beginners. Okay, so let's get started with our today's tutorial. Today we are going to be learning about operators. In C Sharp we have many operators. They are assignment, arithmetic, comparison, logical, increment, type testing, ternary. They are the miscellaneous operators. Okay, so a lot of them are there but we are going to be doing couple of them only so let's get started our first operator would be arithmetic operator arithmetic are operate collection of operators like plus minus multiplication division and remainder or modulus let's have a look at example so i have declared a variable called a and i have assigned five value five to it and integer b and i have assigned 36 to it now in addition it says a so a will go in here the value of b will go in here and the value of a plus b will go in here and we have a collection of the code so you can check it out how it works just stop the screen and it will you can look at the program i'm going to start and as you can see in here addition 5 plus 36 41 5 minus 36 is equal to minus 31 Div uh, multiplication would be 5 times 36 is 180 division is 5 by div divided by 36 it's 1 0 point something so it's returning 0 and modulus of 5 divided by 36 oh sorry remainder 36 is 5 you can check what modulus means I've shown a simple but a little complicated example like this part and this part it's up to you you have to search these things to, to understand these completely that's why I made it a bit difficult so let's get to our second operator now we have the assignment operator okay so assignment operator is basically equals okay let's look at it. an example as you can see in here I'm saying I a equals 5 but basically it doesn't mean a equals it means a is assigned the value of 5 or the value of 5 is assigned to a what is assignment it means you actually put the value 5 inside a it is not equal to a if i say one thing is equal to other thing if i say one dollar equals uh, 3.5 reals okay so that is equal because they are both properties mean the same thing but a does not equal to 5 it is assigned to a 5 okay in in programming there is this assignment operator we call it assignment operator because a does not equal to 5 it is impossible for a, a is what we don't know but if i say like if i this is 5 now if i say a is equal to b now this would be correct okay am i right right a is equal to b and that would be correct because they are equal but in programming this is assignment and if you do a equals b you are actually saying a is assigned to b sorry b is assigned to a so the value of b will be going to a so that is a little bit difficult to understand but bear with me it's really easy okay what is equals if i want to test what is equal to other thing how can i test let's look at our next operator and you will understand okay now it's comparison and relation on operators what are these operators well basically these operators are used to compare different things um for example to compare different values of something for example, let us suppose that A is equal to, as we know, that A is equal to 5 and B is equal to 5. So, according to first, it's going to check whether something equals because we have learned that one equal sign is not equal. It is an assignment. So, A equals B is an assignment. A double equals B is equal is same as saying mathematically a equals b a double equals b means a equals b okay a exclamation mark equals b means that a is not equal to b if a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 5 so a is not equal to 5 would return 
false because we know that both are true uh, a and b are equal to 5 if uh, so the second operator says it is not equal to 5 so it is gonna return false the number 3 says a is greater than b that would also mean false because a is not greater it is equal the third condition says a is less than and the fourth condition oh sorry the fourth condition says a is less than the fifth condition says a is greater than or is equal to so we have greater than or is equal to two conditions at the same time if one condition is true the result is true if both conditions are true the result is true if neither of them are true so the result is false so let us actually look at a simple program using which we can really understand what this means and we will be creating this program actually i have already created this program so let's get to it okay so let's see our example is ready so let's check a equals 5 right so it should return true because this is a boolean type what is a boolean we have learned that we have integer type and we have uh, string type there is something called a bool bool type what is a bool bool is something for example if i say bool 25 no sorry bool uh, what equals true okay so a bool is what it a bool is a variable which returns either true or false okay so this if I make comparisons and if I use relational operators, it should return a bool value. It should return true or false. Let's check it out. We're going to say, so it says a, 1a equals b. Let's see. a equals b, true. a doesn't equal to b, false, because it is equal to b. Um, a is greater than b, false. a is less than b, false. a is greater than or equal to b true because it is or equal to yeah a is equal to or is what or is something you have to neglect one part and if one of those one of two conditions is one of the conditions is true then it's true so our equal to condition is true do it so it will return to and in here also our equal to condition is true so it's gonna return true that's all okay I think that should be understandable okay and there is something called increment and decrement operators well if we say a plus plus and b minus minus so what will happen is the value of a and b will change let's see if I say in uh, CW a So let's see, a plus plus means the value will increase by one, b minus minus would be value will be in decreased by one. So let's look at the result. We know that a is five. When I say a plus plus, it will increase it by one. So it is now six. B is a minus minus, so it will decrease by one. So it's four. Okay, if I do a plus equals, uh, plus equals five, and b minus equals uh, 2 so it will do what it's going to say the value of a is 5 right i'm going to add 5 to it so it's going to be 5 plus 5 and that result should be 10 b uh, b is 5 the value of 2 will be subtracted from 5 and we'll get 3 let's see 10 and 3 okay Okay guys, that's all for today. We'll learn what is left later because the those concepts need the if statement and stuff like that. So thank you very much for watching and make sure to like, subscribe and comment and Allah Hafiz.